Hey everyone, so I've noticed recently that a lot of people have been posting cinegraphs, so a kind of video slash photograph kind of mashup that they do with time-lapse video, so something like this. So I figured it'd be cool if I show you guys how to do this, because um, it's actually pretty simple. So let's get started. We're first going to jump over to Lightroom, we're going to grab the photo. So let's just open this photo in Photoshop. So here's our here's our photo open. The first thing we want to do is we want to mask out the area behind where the clouds are actually going to be. So we're just going to grab um, the pen tool really quickly. You can do this with a couple different things. You can do a quick selection tool. The pen tool is um, a little bit faster, a little bit more accurate. So we're just going to kind of quickly click along this mountain here. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, we'll probably go through and blend this in. But, I mean, the better you make your selection, the better your end product is going to be. I'm just doing this kind of quickly just to show everyone kind of the concept. So spend a little bit more time on yours. So we've gone through, we've made our kind of rough outline of the shape. We're going to right-click and click Make Selection. Uh, we'll feather it by one pixel. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit our mask button. We'll hit Command-I to invert that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to open the time-lapse footage. So I just found this footage online. It, if you type in um, free time-lapse skies, um, you can find some free downloads on Google. So this is just one of those, just for this example. So what we want to do now is we want to go back over to the image that we just finished masking out. We're going to grab our Move tool, and we're just going to pull that straight over. So when you pull that over, it's going to put it in this video group. We actually just want to put that right above, so we'll just click and drag that up. And then we're going to take this video, this layer 2, and we're going to bring it all the way over to the front here and then we're going to extend it out. So now it's really big, so with that still selected, we're going to hit Command T, and then we're going to hit Command Zero. That's going to allow us to free transform, and then we'll just bring that to right there, and we'll bring this up a little bit, just so we cover that ocean that's back there. And then we'll hit Enter to commit that, and one thing we want to do is let's click on this here. As you can see um, from the masking, we could probably get that to look a little bit better. So let's paint in black, and we'll just take a soft brush and just paint right along here, just to kind of get that transition to blend in a little bit better. All right, and so really that's kind of it. So sky's playing. So if you want to do any color correction, you can bring, uh, you can select the curves layer, um, put that right above your video layer, and then you can just darken that down if you want. Um, the other cool thing is, just like Photoshop, all of the layers build. So if you remember the image that we brought up, I had this kind of little sun leak thing. You can do that still with this. So if you just make a new layer. Um, you just have to make sure that it's the entire size of the video. Then if you grab your gradient tool with the second option selected and you just pull straight down from there, that gives you your nice little light leak and then you still have your clouds moving. So that that kind of works with any adjustment layer. So if you wanted to do a vignette, for example, you could bring another curves layer, you could pull this down, and then what you could do is you could just mask out the middle of the photo. So we'll make our brush big with a black brush, and we can just paint right in here. So, and then with the playhead, you can just see what that's going to look like. Now, to get this out of Photoshop, you're going to go up to Export, and you're going to come down here to Render Video. We're going to leave pretty much all these settings as default. Uh, we are going to change the name, so we'll call this Cinegraph. And so we're just going to go ahead and hit Render, and it's going to take a few minutes. Alright, and now we're done rendering, so we can see what we're left with. So we have a 15 second video, and as you can see, clouds are just moving through.
So hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully this helps. I know that these have been pretty popular recently on Instagram. So now you can make one for yourself. Until next time, take care.